y'all welcome back to my youtube channel today is thursday january 9th and today i'm going to be filming a keto what i eat in a day vlog woo so first things first you may be wondering cat you look a little bit rough today yeah i know let's not talk about it i don't know what's going on today nothing is working for me my face isn't working my hair is a hot mess and we're just gonna be a hot mess today okay yeah Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get today started. I'm about to head in the kitchen and make some iced coffee. And you don't want to miss this because I have a whole new recipe and it's bomb. All right, y'all. I have started switching up the way I make my iced coffee. And I thought I would share it with y'all because it is so good. Of course, throw some ice in a cup. Pour some coffee over that. I'm gonna add a little bit of my sugar-free vanilla bean syrup and a tiny splash of stevia. Up next, I added about two to three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream into a glass. What I'm going to do now is take a milk frother and froth the heck out of this milk. Once you've gotten your milk all nice and frothy, you're going to pour that over the top of your iced coffee. Mmm, 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 mmm. That looks so good. And the final step, I am going to take some cinnamon and sprinkle it over the top. And there we go. We have a beautiful iced coffee ready to be drank and i love the little swirls of the cream going down oh it's beautiful cooper found a stick on our walk and he's just carrying it around all proud <laughs> look at this dog he is hilarious sometimes cooper cooper you got your stick all right let's go come on I am having some leftovers for lunch today. This is two pieces of that mayo parmesan chicken I made the other night, as well as a piece of the cheesy bread. I'm gonna go ahead and dig in, and Bo, stop growling at your brother over your Kong toy. Hey, that's not gonna be allowed. I'm gonna take it from you. Someone found himself some tissue paper and has been having an absolute ball with it this morning. Just ripping it apart. <laughs> Stop. It's all over my floor. And at this point, it just is what it is. I'd rather him rip this apart than, like, eat my shoes or our hats or something. So I'm just going to let him sit here and play with the tissue paper. Because I can vacuum this up. Oh, you are so much fun. Puppies are fun. Bo is just judging from the distance. A couple of days ago, I stuck this pork butt in my fridge to thaw, and now that it's thawed, we are going to cook this bad boy up. To be completely honest, I have no idea what I'm doing. I am experimenting for this recipe, so we will know at the end of the day if this turns out any good. So don't take my word just yet, because we're just, we're just trying something, y'all. So this is, what is it, a 3.33 pound pork butt from butcher box we are going to throw this in the slow cooker and let it cook all day because cody wants to go fishing so when we go fishing that means i don't have that much time to cook dinner when we get home so i figured it's a perfect day for a crock pot meal i cut up this white onion into rings and i'm just going to put that at the bottom of the crock pot like so i stuck my pork butt in the crock pot and i just stuck the onions all around it and now I am going to add this CPR rub. It's a competition barbecue rub made by Flaps 20 Sauces and Rubs. And they're actually local to Mobile. I've had the chance to talk to them. So I figured we would give this rub a try today. So I'm going to put it all over the pork. And then that's pretty much all I'm going to do. So let's get to seasoning. Now we're just going to pop the lid on like so and set it to how do i do this low for eight hours and we shall see how this pork butt turns out later this evening well look who i'm joined with hey y'all we got a cody in the car with us we also got two puppuccinos in the back taking a nap 
And Cody got off of work pretty early today. Because I'm not making any money. <laughs> yeah, wine so I'm sales. I'm not making money. We're going fishing. Yeah, wine sales are not very high right now. So there's that. He got off of work early though. So we are going fishing. It's a real ugly afternoon. It's just real cloudy and overcast outside. I don't think you can really see that. But hopefully the fish are biting. Maybe. We shall see. So we have the boat loaded up. It's back there and we're headed to the water. Let's have some fun fishing today. Of course, we're about a quarter of a mile from the boat ramp and this train is just stopped on the tracks. The end of it's right there. We have now been sitting at this stupid train for 30 minutes. After sitting here for literally 39 minutes, this thing is finally moving. I got the pups and they are ready to go get on the boat. Come on, come on, Bobo. All right, let's go. Look, there's daddy. Get on, good boy, Coop. Good job, Bo. You ready? Wait on you. All right, let's go. Ready to rock and roll. Cody got the first fish of the day, a tiny little white trout. Oh, Bo went straight in for it. Bo, give me the fish. Give me the fish button. Bo loves to lick the fish. It's his favorite thing. No, don't bite the fish. You can lick him, but we're gonna let him go. There he goes. Sorry, Bo, you can't eat him. Little Cooper Poopers just being a good old boat dog. He loves it. He started to lick the fish when they come in the boat. He is a happy little boy. Look at how fluffy you are. Oh, he's just the cutest little boat dog who needs a haircut so bad. So far, we are not having much luck. It's a wee bit windy and chilly out here, but we have been fishing the last two nights and it got into like the 40s. Thankfully, the 60s are as low as it's supposed to get tonight. So I guess we'll probably fish another hour or so until it gets dark and then we'll head on in and go on home. Hopefully, y'all are gonna see some more videos of fish. Cody got another little white trout. Cooper, get your licking. Cooper's getting his fish licking, trying to figure out what the heck that is. And there he goes. Another one for Cody. Hey guys, we are back at home now. And unfortunately, we just did not have a very productive day on the water. I really wanna do a catch and cook video where I catch a fish and we come home, clean it, and I fix it up for dinner. But we haven't caught a fish we can throw in the cooler and keep in a long time. So eventually, when we catch fish, we're gonna do some catch and cooks, but for now, we're empty handed. So as soon as we got home tonight, I jumped in the shower. I just felt grimy and gross and nasty and I needed just a deep, deep clean. So I showered, I dried off my hair a little bit and now it is time to finish up with dinner. I have my pork in the crock pot back there and it should be just about done. To go along with the pork, I am going to be making some mashed cauliflower. I have yet to decide if I wanna do loaded cauliflower or just cheesy mashed cauliflower. We will decide shortly. I am using frozen cauliflower for this recipe just because it makes it a little bit quicker. Feel free to throw some cauliflower in a pot, steam it until it's nice and soft in texture. But for me, I'm going the easy way out. Please don't judge me. <laughs> Anyways, let's get dinner ready. It's been about seven hours since I stuck this pork butt in the crock pot and it is definitely done. I used a fork and kind of shredded it up because I wanted it to get all in the juices in the bottom and it's been sitting there for about 30 minutes. So that is ready to be eaten. 
The first step of making your mashed cauliflower is steaming some cauliflower. So I use this steaming bag cauliflower florets. This is a 15 ounce bag. I added my bag of steamed cauliflower into my food processor and we're just gonna pulse it until it's mostly smooth. While this cauliflower was in the food processor, I ended up adding about three tablespoons of heavy cream into it. And as you can see, we have this really nice mashed consistency now. And I decided that we're gonna go with loaded cauliflower because it's just a favorite of mine and Cody's. So we're gonna sprinkle in some bacon bits, like that, a handful of sharp cheddar cheese, a dollop of sour cream, now some salt and pepper. Just stir this all together. After you finish mixing the cauliflower together, I popped mine into, I believe this is an eight by eight glass baking dish. So what I'm going to do now is pop this into a 400 degree oven for about 20 to 30 minutes until that cheese is nice and bubbly. I ended up pulling the loaded cauliflower out of the oven after about 20 minutes. As you can see, the cheese is all melty and it just looked done. So I fixed myself up a plate. I got my pork butt, I got my loaded cauliflower, and it seems like it's going to be a really delicious meal. Hey guys, it is the next morning now. I obviously have been very bad at remembering to film outros lately, but just bear with me. Anyways, last night our dinner was fabulous. I think Cody went back for like thirds, so that's when I know I made a really good dinner. We both enjoyed it. That loaded cauliflower, it definitely tastes a lot better when you make it yourself versus when I buy the like pre-packaged mashed cauliflower, but very much enjoyed that meal. It was very good and it you know, it didn't take any time to throw together, which I love. Anyways, if you can hear it in the background, Cooper is ringing his bell. That means he needs to go pee. So I'm gonna go ahead, close out this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.